Hello, my dears. This is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com back again with another moment for chronic wellness. Thanks again so much for being here. We are finishing our series today about how do I accept my chronic illness. And I guess my final thoughts about this are in answer to the question, not is acceptance the same thing as giving up. We've talked about that. But in accepting my illness, am I releasing my ability to be healed, transform, or go into remission for my illness? And my answer to that is no. As a matter of fact, you're not only not giving those things up, you're drawing those possibilities closer to you because it is in acceptance that I am making all of the possibilities more real. I'm realizing those possibilities. When I'm resisting something, I am making it stronger. When I am resisting a diagnosis, I am fueling it. I am giving fire to the illness by fueling my stress levels, my anxieties, my fears, my, I'm, I'm fueling, you know, what we resist persists. And in accepting something, I am then giving it over to the universe to give life and light and breathing room and uh, more opportunities and options for the whole panoply of possibilities to arise. And, uh, and I am not accepting it and saying, this is my identity, this is my moniker, this is my forever, this is my reality, this is my ongoing, you know, into the sunset has to be destiny. I'm not saying, I am chronic illness and it will be mine for always. I am saying this is my present reality and I am prepared to have the next moment arise and some new reality arise with it. Um, but I'm not resisting that. And I, just as I'm not resisting what could arise in the next moment. So by accepting the reality I am giving life to new possibilities for the future. I am I'm creating space for new things to be possible uh, in ways that I'm not when I'm resisting. When I'm resisting, there's no room. I mean, it's sort of like why, um, why you have to clear out to make space for new things. You know, the, you can't buy 17 new shirts when your closet bar is already so stacked that there's not room to wedge in any more hangers. There is no room. And so I think that this is the same thing with acceptance. By accepting my illness, I am making space for new possibilities. Whereas when I am in conflict with my illness, when I am making it my nemesis, when I am resisting it, when I am in battle and locked in with my illness, I'm not making room for anything new to be true. I'm just fighting. And all that I can be is in the struggle. That's why I think it's so important to accept. That's my truth. That's what's true for me. How about you? Do you see this one similarly? Has anything changed for you over the course of listening to these thoughts I've had? Uh, what, what about, what has evolved your thoughts on accepting your illnesses? Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing this time. And until we're together again, be well.